these guys are shameless. The campaign force on dignity and honesty, which has been dismantled already. And then to use a tagline, don't stop the progress. Let us remember and recall what took place over the last five years. That was with the PPP presidential candidate at a public meeting in Alexander Village on Wednesday evening. The incumbent coalition has been using Don't Stop the Progress as its slogan on the campaign trail. But according to Ali, the past five years has seen some of the country's most thriving sectors contracting while social issues has heightened. This is the reality of the Guyana we live in today. So what progress are they talking about? What progress are they campaigning that we should not stop? It is clear, it is clear from all the facts that our country has regressed in the last five years. You know it, you feel it in your pocket every day. Many of you must have someone who you are connected to, who would have either lost their job or cannot get a job over the last five years. So what is the progress that they don't want to stop? Meanwhile, PPP General Secretary Bart Jack Deal told supporters and residents in Alexander Village that they do not need any more evidence on the incompetence of the coalition. Ranger talks about a lot of strategies, etc. But when it comes down to reality, to getting things done, he's incapable of translating very lofty ideals into practical things that matter to people. Things like jobs, addressing the cost of living, getting low-income housing to people, addressing the crime rate, making sure that people pay less taxes, these are issues that matter to people. Also addressing supporters at the meeting was the party's prime ministerial candidate, retired Brigadier Mark Phillips, who urged persons to vote for the PPPC. Comrades, this is the government that will be the caring government. The government you had for the last five years is the uncaring government that focused on fattening themselves and filling their pockets. This is the government you have to vote for because the PPPC is people-centered. We put the people at the center of development and the people will progress only with the PPPC. Reporting for the Evening News, Fanu Manak Chand.